Guys, Musijali nyole angu, like it's so unkept. You can see the color there, it's so unkept. So, nilikuwa tu kwa nyumba, venye tu nimetoka ni kajiambia ni vaya haka kakitu, kashikilie. Ndi maliza ni kenye nafanya ni rudi kwa nyumba, ni taitengeneza jiyo ni ya makesho, okay? That's why I had to wear this key cardigan. Cardigan ni nini? This kakofia. <laughs> anyway, guys. Dealing with toddlers, it's a whole other thing. So, hayo ndo ya linifika, sasaba ya usiku. And mind you, the following day, Habi had to go to work, and also I had to go to class. Hmm. Hmm. It hasn't been easy. It has not been easy. But I thank God my baby is okay, we are okay. We just need to be extra careful with him. Ako hiyo age ile experimental. He does some things in the house and you wonder so haka kamutu ni kiamua ni kuchapa si mtachapa ni malize. So like sometimes you just have to give him that grace, let him grow. That is what I've learned like in my whole motherhood journey. It gets to a place you just give the baby time a grow. Okay? Yeah, so Wacha ni inge supermarket Ni kwa hapa quick mat Sijua mamu naizaona Yes, ni mefika hapa quick mat Kuna kitu nanunua 1, 2, 3 Then I head back to home Ah, to class No, I head back home And inge class immediately Class, class ya 2pm, okay See you Adios mchachos Remember to subscribe like, share, comment. I really appreciate when you subscribe so far and those who keep tuning in to my content. I appreciate. Okay. Bye. I'm so sorry. I am so so sorry, honestly. At a point, I need to keep packing. You want a story? Today, I have a story time. Oh, I cannot do a job. Oh my God. So. Guys, I hope it shoot Missouri. I'm shooting as I'm going for I'm going for lunch. Ah, ni kona story mo bivi lakini wache ni tuni wape ya what happened juicy with my baby boy. So, ha ni liwache ya wape head this kiku yunani. Anyway, I'm not even here, but I'm not here to tell you about the nanny, no. No, it's a story in Elysium, no. <laughs> anyway, I heard that nanny was not paying attention to my boy. So, I'll go and I don't know, I mean, gee. What's in cousin, I'm heading out. I'm going to quick mart to fetch some lunch for us, because, hey, I do not have a nanny. My baby is in school. Now we are home with my hubby. Yeah, yeah, I'm busy. At least me who pata some two hours freeze uh, lunch hour. So, although Leo he make one ni one, and by two I should be seated. So, ni kona one hour. But kwenye tunaishi na Ruiru is ten minutes away. So I'm going to cook my Ruiru, get us some lunch, and come back home and sit for my next class. Anyway, as I do so, to squeeze your kiss nanga time. Zija watu pa kwa ubaya, by the way, you guys. I really appreciate you. Oh, but nimekuwa so tight, like so busy. My schedule has been so tight. Mm, I'm not even able to record videos, edit videos, anyway. So, hii time yenye niko hapa, nikiende ya lunch, nikaona ni wa record ka video. Ni wambie, yenye ya menifika juzi. Unaenda? Oh. <laughs> ni wambie, yenye ya menifika juzi. So, Mimi I was busy in my office. Habi was busy in his office. So, we have entrusted this nanny with our baby. Especially time yenye tuko busy. Because honestly, 
me time nimetoka class tuseme kama maina angekuwa home saa hii unaona the two hours na kuanga free i usually spend that time with my baby me i love spending time with my baby ni venye sasa sometimes i need so much concentration like 100% siwezi manage kukaa na yeye na niweze kufanya kinye nafanya una get that's why i usually get a nanny mostly to stay with my baby eh lakini these year were many frustrate were many humble <laughs> anyway aki hii yango sioni ikitoa vizuri wacha ni wanini nitoke kwa lami kama what do i do let me just drive but sita wa pia story wacha nifike kwa lami story endele hii yango nimeona haitoi vizuri plus inakuwa a very rough road anyway give me 2 minutes maximum nifike kwa lami wape hiyo story staki kukata video i hope my video my phone will not change position there is like a whole motorcade na inakawa naenda mazisha ama ni kwa kina chira anyway i'm about to join the army so mtani excuse nice isha join army ay and the angle is still bad guy now what do i do i really wanted to give you this story now no anyway ni endele i'll know how to edit out Hiyo yeah, motorcade siji inaenda wapi? Anyway, my story was here. So, nilikuwa nimetrust you all day, maina niangalie especially these hours niko busy busy. Kuna vitu tunaitanga labs kwa hiyo class. Those labs you have like to have 100% concentration otherwise. <laughs> so, mimi nikiwa nimeachia huyo msichana aniangalie mtoto, yeye yeah, anabomoa minji. Inaitwa kubomoa konora miji anatwanisha minji maganda okay maina is very experimental so what did she do yeye yeah, ako too busy kitana na kumwona ni maina anakuja analizia miji usichana anapatia maina miji okay i remember when i was doing the bomoaring bee and maina i remember catching him one day akijaribu kuweka kwa mapua unaona sasa when you paying attention to him you won't let it happen utaweza kumkanya way before it happens okay but now with this lady yeah ko tuki chana na kumolea kitchen mtoto ako sitting at least my is now like a week free of cartoon so he was not on cartoon but ako to sitting room peke yake Although my kitchen is open kitchen so the lady being skurusha macho hivi akiendelea tu na kazi yake hiyo anaangalia mtoto not paying attention to the baby. So maina after amelilia minji na akapewa kamoja he went to the sitting room na akanyamaza for so long so the lady was like hey, mtoto amenyamaza acha mimi niendelee na kazi yangu. Maina kumbe he went and fits the nini akaiaka kwa new street sinaambia ni shame shika akifanya hivyo cause me umwangalia all the time cause i know he's very experimental so maina amechukua minji ameifix ana fix ana fix ikaingia na ikaseto pale ndani and it was a very big p it was a very big p p ya minji na get it was a very big b acha niite b ndo mwenye kalikuwa kakubwa wewe ilituka kubwa kana toshana kana fit That day I didn't notice aliyeka pua moja thanks god fortunately aliyeka pua moja so that day usiku uh, he started behaving as if akona homa so i think ni allergies unajua anybody in a body you can produce foreign objects it react by kama mapua it react by kutoa hiyo makamasi allergen okay So mtoto anatoa makamasi mimi ndani ako na homa actually I was in almost even almost running to the chemist to get him some silver but nikajiambia pana hizi vitu ni nisi master kwa na pia unless it turns serious so I didn't Anaona hiyo usiku ya kwanza tumelala mi bila kujua naona tu kama mtoto ako na homa cause inatiririka tu Eh eh then kumunguza hapa si una tu ile natural check ya kwenda the peace feeling bad na mchukuza hapa mimi nikimguza he still okay like the temperature siko sawa kawaida akiwa na homa anakuanga moto so like that's when najuanga it's time to either take him to hospital or do some mitigation measures hiyo siku hakuwa moto 
Nani get? I'm not looking at the camera because I'm driving, eh? Maybe a glass or two. But I hope it's still recording. Yes, it is recording. Yeah. So, my nakum guza ako two temperature sawa. So, you see kutu kalala vizuri. Now, the following day, Tupashina is behaving too hippo. I don't ask you, I can dish a kamasi, but she there may now let you at a maskio sivazangi kumwasha. He's very sensitive. You cannot touch his ears, you cannot touch his nose, you can't do anything. At a kangi kuguzo kusunguliwa, at a nyuele, I don't know how he managed to style it with his dad. Ni babake hum style. So, where was I? The following day, so amelala na yo minji kwa mapua siku moja. Now, the following day, hii ni mtoto waka endelea na hakui moto. So, usikuwa saa nne hivi before we go to sleep. So, alikuwa amelala haka muka saa mbili. That's why unasikia saa nne mtoto wako on. So, tumebaki na ye, babaki was really exhausted. He went to sleep early that day. So, tumebaki na maina mina watch YouTube. As nambanga hizi, anione ama atapula 1, 2, 3. Ay, then mtoto ananza kubihevi fani fani. As in, sijua manijo alikuwa miamuka na usingizi, alikuwa tuwa merigoya. By rigoya, you mean he was weekly, weekly. He's not hot, so obviously, misi yoni kama ni mgonjo, okay? But anabihevi weekly, weekly. Iyo kurigoya. So, mi hata sijui nilifikiria nini. So, he was lying on the floor. Sometimes I do lie on the floor with him to play with him as I watch my YouTube videos here and there, not necessarily mine, as I watch YouTube videos here and there, so ni kalala chini na ye, guy, and alas, yo ni kitu sani, ah, ata si sani, so babaki ya menda kulala sani, tumebaki na maina, so ni kitu, satano, hako omu sasita, so mi ulala sasita, okay, so it was almost time for me to go to sleep, he, na lala chini na mtoto, kuangalia puwa yake, who was behaving kama antipaku, Kuangalia puwa yake ni kapatana na minji. Minji kubwa. He he. What are you saying? Ni kapatana na minji kubwa. Ni mefika town center. That's why I'm so attentive here. Hapa single mess. Umeanza kukesi hapa na watu. Stakangi. Mimi kwa town center. Ni koriru sasa. Simeona simpani. So. Mi ni kapatana na minji kubwa. For that nini. Aki, I'm usually very nice with roads. Like, kupelea watu na venye mi uka ukiwa sometimes. Njue mi ni lana alafu mtu wa kunyime barabara. But mi I usually give. Mi kukiwa clear, like, sinambio, like, mbona ni kunyime barabara, especially when it's action. Anyway. So, mi ni kapatana na hiyo minji kwa mapuwa. Oh my god. Na umesikia ni saa sita sasa. Now it's saa sita. Nice. Nice. Okay. He history got distracted. You could drive kwa town center. Stakangi hii mani. Miku wana minji na ni saa sita Kai Ujue saa hii ni saa sita na kitu sasa Mi ni mengengana kuitoa Maina hata kangi kukuzwa You can't touch his nose You can't touch his ears So mi I'm here struggling to soothe him Uju sasa ni meona ni nini Mekwe kifanya Akona makamasi throughout Ok Mi kuona minji na jaribu kutoa He mi ni kaona Maina hani kubalishi So what did I do naenda na amsha babaki Kai baba maishi mtoto wakuna minji kwa mapua Wololo Wololo Mtu alikuwa na usingizi Although he had slept for 2 hours by then So he had to wake up We tried maina kwa za uwezi mshika Una mshika anapinga nduru ni kama muna uwa mtoto Mi I see that dude So we tried with his dad. Mi nkuwa na mabaki ya kanyambia. Asha i google what if something like that happens. I think he was just dreading ikiwai happen. Zatotila. You know how atotila. So wana kuanga hivu. 
so his dad was like trading all along so he had already googled akaniambia ati anafaa kupewa mother kiss umkulizie itaruka who is maina maina hatuliagi <laughs> so hata hiyo kiss haingewezekana unaenda kumshika hivyo anaruka mbio anapotea unamshikia sitting room so it wasn't possible to administer that so we concluded to go to hospital na unasikia ni almost sasa saa saba ni saa sita na kitu hosi tukafikiria mimi nikafikiria saa saa hizi hosi za tutapata yenye open saa hii ya usiku so i went online and googled hospitals 24 hours so seven although we really wanted to go to a private hospital i know i have an issue with public hospitals anyway facilities ipate hawana so me i prefer to end up private hoy kumbe hapo ndo niliji confuse ya mimi nataka pale ndoni ololo Haya nimepack. Acha niwamalizie story. <laughs> you what the Eh, ni kwa nimeifixaje? So by this time it's uh ni sasa ba so nika Google private hospitals zenye zinaweza kuwa open at that time of the night. And although my first choice was get roots DRM. No, no, Kenya to Naishi Ruru. But when you need Google, Nikaona, we can go to Juja Road Hospital. Ikoapa Kehunguro. But first, Babaisha can be at Kijari Buizi Public Zaruru. And I was like, Sama. So we took the car to Kachukwe Babake. We drove to the Ruru Hospital. It was closed at that time, although online we had 24 hours. So, no, before we left home, I had to call Juja Road Hospital. Ia Kehunguro. And we can be at Yatuko. So it was either Juja Road Hospital or. Right, what is Plains view, Plains view. So you as you as you like opposite sides. Plains view, I'm at Road Hospital. But so I think going to Juja Road would have been easier. Because you see Kukurudi, it is a bit wrong side. And that is what we did. So we took the boy to Juja Road Hospital. And Ebu Nitaeka is a video. The boy is walking majestically. Nikama anajua like... <laughs> he doesn't care what he has done. So we go to Juja Road Hospital uh, and I couldn't stay there when he's being removed that kind of thing. So I was like, please, you know I hate hospitals. I hate anything to do with hospitals. So please excuse me. I was like, I was like, So I was like, I was like, they were asleep actually. And I went downstairs at and I sat his videos. Nikiwa uko chini, mi nikingojia nisikia mtoto akilia, niambio imetoka. Okay? And after a few minutes of struggling with him, because now you see doctors that are wananga huruma, si kama venye mi nikimshika kidogo hivi ya pike nduru na muachilia. So after a few minutes, ali scream, nili msikia nikiwa chini, nikaanza kupanda. Bado nipande stairs, nifike bado waijatoka. I think they struggled for like three minutes continuously. Kikili atu kina piga nduru, but he knows what he has done. So after I'm a piga nduru, akatolewa. I think the doctor used some nini. Ehe kaki tu kaku toa. Sinaile wa kahu kish, kaka ingia, kaka ihu. By the ilikuwa ukondani. Sad that we had tried this mechanism of like pushing out. Penye ilikuwa, if you'd have missed, inge endandani. So we just decided, no, this requires doctor's attention, and that is why we took him there. So after a few minutes of struggling with him, two male doctors, moja memshika mingine akona iyo kakitu ya kumtoa, the minji was successfully removed. Thanks God. He, na wakujia kwa malipo. Juja Road, hawatumi, sisi tukona kava ya IPA ya kwenye habi ya na work. Na hiko na pesa mingi, but they refuse to use it. Wanatumia cash or any other insurers, not IPA. Guess what guys, tuliko hawa pesa ngapi. Imagine, an emergency like that. 
but me i was so happy like <laughs> i just didn't explain that but to liko how a 2000 2000 kitu kama hiyo kutoa mtoto minji kwa mapua to liko how a 2k 2k ingeniake am after almost half tank anyway i'm not complaining cuz my baby is safe now but hey i think toddlers need an extra like attention i don't know even an extra degree of attention right that's the word i'm looking for cuz we my na me nipea pressure i mean nipea stress and you see um employ mtu hawananga attention na mtoto at this point i'm even wondering should i go back to being a housewife cuz i can't trust anyone with my baby oh my god i'm so hurt <sighs> anyway so my baby ali tolewa sai he's very good <laughs> actually after him atoka nitaonyesha hizo videos i recorded him nikamwambia maina unaona hii utarudi kuweka tena ukiweka tena mimi chapa nini nini kampunika si kumkelelesha like i made him see what he did wrong like i gave him and told him to try put it again back there again and he refused so i hope he learned but hey that's an ordeal that got me at 1 pm usiku actually tukot nafika home kitu 1:30 na uko i'll insert those videos i think after this or in between this video because we motherhood is a whole like other ex so this is the dude walking very majestically sasa hiyo ako na minji kwa mapua unaona bhai anapanda stairs na confidence eh <laughs> so at this point mimi nilikuwa nimeteremka nje i don't want to stay there ni gari ya habi mimi na wangojea nje nisikie mtoto akilia nipande niambiwe minji imetoka yeah <laughs> at this point i was walking like so hopelessly like i didn't know what to do my baby is there nimemwacha na madaktari natembea huko chini kukaa ni ngojea niambiwe good news imetoka Yeah, it was the longest staircase walk ever. <laughs> Now, this is us after Kametolewa. At least I was proud of him. Although Alilia alijikausha kimwanaume and ikatolewa na the two male doctors and <laughs> You can see we are now walk down the stairs very confident again <laughs> as you can see him is even he look akubwa I was so stressed out this something like I've always dreaded is why me happen here and here it was I was living like the worst ordeal like imagining my baby I'm a fix it kitu kwa mapua yake hey, oh my god can you see how big that thing is na ilikuwa imeingia kabisa <laughs> Kiwi mtoto wangu hata nionyesha maneno. Anyway, after this he had to go home, but I had to leave the minji there and forget about it. So huko ndo tulikuwa inaitwa Jujarud Hospital inakuanga pale Kihunguro. And this is us on our way home. Sasa baya usiku na nusu. I wish I had recorded the time hapa kwa nini, but I didn't. So as you can see amechangamka hata ni kama hajui ni nini amefanya, nini ametufanyia usiku. <laughs> akikukua mtoto it's a whole other flex i mean <laughs> so as you can see we are home it's very late it's very dark we have like whole other commitments the following day after the whole neighborhood was quiet they didn't know what we were going through at that time anyway we thank god <laughs> okay.